Hello and welcome to our first Blood and Pigment nationality review. I'm Joseph. I'm Guy. And I'm Dan. And today we're going to be looking at the Dutch nationality in Blood and Plunder. If you're just getting into Blood and Plunder and you don't see the Dutch in your core rulebook, that's because they were added to the game in the first large expansion, uh, No Peace Beyond the Line. The Dutch are a versatile nationality on land and sea. They're easy to play, they reward quick thinking, and they stand out from the other three major powers compared to the peripheral nations. On land, they play well. They change up the typical gun line list with a few interesting specialty units while also offering the uh, typical militia play style as well. At sea, they cover the majority of different play styles and have the best all-around sailor unit in the game, the z as well as the best boarding party in the game, the Interploic. What makes the Dutch fun to play on land, Joseph? At first, I don't think they look very fun, actually. But the more I uh, play them and the more I look at them, they're actually quite strong. Um, they have two different land factions, the Dutch Caribbean Militia and the uh, Dutch North American Militia. Uh, both of them have some really strong units. I think they're fun because they have force. They have options for their special rules. Usually each faction has a special rule or a couple of different special rules. Here you kind of have every, almost every faction of the Dutch have options for which special rule you use, which makes them flexible. But they have really solid uh, militia unit, better than many of the other militia units, uh, sol uh, really good regular soldiers as well, and then a really good woodsman type unit that can uh, sneak around in the forest and shoot really well and is quite resilient. So I like that sneaky style when I play on land, and these guys can do that both in the Caribbean and uh, in the North American militia. They're really a lot to play against. I enjoy every time I see them on the tabletop. But Dan, can you tell us about how the Dutch play at sea? Yes, I can. The Dutch were essentially the naval superpower of the era, and reflects at how good their factions are at sea. Again, their main sailor unit has both has both the expert sailors and expert artillery crew special rules, allowing you to load cannons quickly and pass sailing techs with ease. Most of the other nations either have none or one or the other. So having both of them in one unit is really great. You can use them to blow your enemy away with cannons, and then as soon as you get close, they're just as comfortable hopping over. Again, typically you gotta choose or there's just your unit is lacking. I feel like the Z-Leiden are kind of overpowered because they have both hard chargers and all those expert sailors and artillery crew rules. And this is just true about the Z-Leiden. The three major naval units of the Dutch with the Z-Leiden, the Capers, which are like Dutch naval musketeers, and Interploeg all have the expert sailors rule, allowing most of your core units to man those sails, even if they weren't assigned initially. But they're just as comfortable shooting cannons or chopping heads. I really enjoy the faction. Dutch are a real powerhouse at sea. And that's uh, one of the reasons why a player would pick up the Dutch. I also like that they have a newer model line compared to a lot of the other uh, European ones, along with only having six model lines, so they're an easy faction to collect. Their models uh, also match up really nicely with the European models, probably because they were both made at the same time, and they share several features that make them look great as a unit. The Dutch are also interesting historically, so if you're one of those wargamers who likes to really get into the lore of your faction, they're really interesting because they really kind of did everything. You can play well-armed merchants, essentially, you can be a privateering force, you can be pirates, or you can basically be the mafia for the Dutch East India Company. Like, they're just really historically and flavorful. We were talking about this earlier, Guy, with basically being a little fish in a big pond, and they're winning. Yeah, I really enjoy playing the Dutch at sea. That's, I think, their focus. The land factions are interesting, but at sea, they're powerful and fun, and their models look really good on those ships. The other really good thing about the Dutch is you can use their models in so many of the other factions, nations and factions, so the English get to ally with the Dutch at some point, so a lot of the factions use Dutch models in there. The French, the pretty much help anybody that pays them. So you see the uh, Dutch and the French factions and the English factions and even the Spanish factions. So once you get into the Dutch, it's kind of fun to branch out into a different uh, nation and you still have some of the models you can 
port straight over to your new faction. One drawback I see in the Dutch is since they haven't, they really haven't been fleshed out quite as much. They are a smaller power. They have their moment of glory, and then they fade a little bit after they overextend themselves and get into debt and whatnot. So that's reflected a bit in the game. They just don't have quite as many options. Like their militia lists are interesting, but instead of having 10 different units you can choose from, like maybe the Spanish, you have five or six. Uh, not as many support units to make your forces unique. There's few less options. If you really like tweaking lists and making weird stuff, the Dutch don't offer as much of that as the larger nations. Not to say the factions are bad or not interesting, but not quite as sprawling. Dan, I know the Dutch are... I get the feeling they're your favorite nation. What makes them your favorite? Yes, they are. Since the pirates are not a nation, the <laughs> Dutch would be my favorite nation. But yes, I really like them. They're what I started with when I started playing, and I came in right around No Peace Beyond the Line. I wanted to play them because they weren't one of the four major powers or the three, I guess the three major powers, are kind of the outlier that I'd never heard of before, except in, the, I think, the computer game Sid Meier's Pirates, or their faction as well. <laughs> and I saw that and said, you know what, I'll do some exploring, and I fell in love with them. Again, at, I find at sea, they're really easy to play, because your sailors are great, your boarding parties are great, it allows you to commit either way. And for a person like me who likes playing at sea, it was a really good starting point. And it made me appreciate having the expert sailor special rule. Yeah, I can see that. They are really good on at sea. Enjoyable on land, too. Yeah, looking through them makes me want to play them more. i kind of behind on the models in my own collection just because they were introduced later. I have more of everything else. But just talking about them here has inspired me to complete my collection and play some more. Yeah, I mean, just the models, too. The models for the boss loppers, if you paint them up to make them look like woodsy, they look really good on a table. With their muskets and long knives pulled out, they look amazing. One of my favorite sculpts. Those are the European sailors, or those are the military? I think the, they're the sailor musketeers, I think, are the model they use, but I painted mine up to look like Dutch woodsmen. Nice. Guy, do you have an overall impression of the Dutch before we finish here? Unfortunately, I have not played a lot of the Dutch. They are, other than in proxying, in a couple games. They're a lot of fun to play against, though, and uh, surprising on the tabletop and at sea. Zelaiden are still the best sailor unit that you would want ever want on cannons or a ship. Yeah, they are probably the central awesome unit for the Dutch. Oh, those Interplug are remarkable as well. Yeah, I mean, they're the, be they're the best all-around sailor unit. While they exceed just about everything, there's not a lot of downsides to them. Just to reiterate, right. not saying the other sailor models are bad. Each sailor unit is unique, and I love it. But the Dutch has seen the best overall choice, especially if you're just starting out. They have all the rules you need to support fighting on a ship. They are very home, at home at sea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for the Dutch. For more Blood and Plunder articles, you can go over to bloodandpigment.com and check out all our work there. We have articles on ships, nations, all the nations, factions, terrain building, painting guides, and battle reports. Go check it out there. Also, check out the rest of our YouTube channel as well. We'll be aiming to put out a video every Monday. Subscribe and ring the ship's bells so you can stay notified of our uploads. And as always, keep your dice at the ready and the wind at your back, yarhar.